the inverse cosecant of root 2. We're going to start off by writing out here, uh, rewriting this equation as this of x is equal to root 2. So what does x have to be equal to in order to get root 2? Well, if you notice on the unit circle, the right about here, because the cosecant is actually the reciprocal of 1 over the sine of x. And because of that, our properties are limited between negative pi over 2, which is here, to pi over 2. And because of that, and it's, it's a positive value up here, it's going to have to be in quadrant 1 right up here. So rewriting this here, same thing as 1 over y over x, or excuse me, y over r. I didn't mean to do that. All right. <laughs> and over here, uh, this ends up being simply r over y. Or if you have your triangle here at 45 degrees, if you notice 1, 1, root 2, the reciprocal, so 1 over root 2 would be the sine. But since it's the cosecant, it simply becomes root 2 over 1, or simply root 2. And so this proves right here that your solution for this answer is going to be pi over 4.